In this video, I'm going to take a look at coterminal angles. We're going to give a definition and then do just a couple simple examples of how you can go about finding a coterminal angle. Okay, so coterminal angles are two angles with the same initial and terminal sides, but possibly different rotations. So over here, I've kind of drawn out one possible scenario of two coterminal angles. All right, let's suppose I have an angle drawn like such, and from here around here would be 240 degrees. All right, well, so then its coterminal angle would be a negative 120 degrees. Okay, now just the fact that these two coterminal um, angles, they both have the same initial side, they have the same terminal side. In this particular example, they've got different rotations. All right, they don't have to have, it just depends on what you're asked for and what you need on this. Okay, so um, a couple of examples here. Um, let's say that it says that it wants you to find a positive angle less than 360 degrees. That is a coterminal angle to the given angle. Okay, so they put a little additional um, restriction on there. They want it positive. They want it to be less than 360 degrees. All right, if you notice the fact that um, when it's got the same terminal sign, the same um, initial side, then you're dealing with 360 degrees. You know, it's got to be all the way around the circle. So in this scenario, I'm either going to have to add 360 degrees or subtract 360 degrees to come up with a positive angle less than 360 degrees. And you might have to add or subtract it more than once, okay? So for example, in this first example, I've got 740 degrees. Well, so I'm thinking about that. That's one time around the circle is 360. So 740 means I have went around more than once. Okay, so that means we're going to have to subtract 360 more than one time. And I'm going to want to continue to subtract it until I get a positive number less than 360 degrees. So let's start with that 740 and subtract 360, and when I do that, um, I believe I get 380. All right, I'm still over one time around the circle, so I need to subtract 360 degrees again, and I'm going to end up with 20. So my coterminal angle is 20 degrees. All right, on the second example, I'm given a negative 360 degrees. Okay, still, my, I've got to have that same initial side and same terminal side, so on this one, instead of subtracting 360, I'm going to need to add 360 degrees. It is less than one time around the circle, all right, so that means I'm only going to have to do this once. So I'm going to add 360 degrees, I'm going to get a positive 100 degrees, all right, and it's a positive number less than 360, so I'm, I have my coterminal angle there. All right, so just a couple examples of um, what coterminal angles are by definition and then how you can go about finding them. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.